Oh my god. This tastes like you went and you just cut something off the side of someone's shoes and then dissolved it in acid. S tier. It's time I finally tell you all the truth. And the truth is, is that I am an addict. I know, it takes a lot of bravery for me to be able to come out like this to you. Wait, that's not what... What I mean to say is, I am in fact addicted to aspartame. As you guys can see here, it is my job now, as a professional aspartame drinker, to rate all of these diet sodas to crown the best one of them all. <gasps> They're coming for me. But yeah, so today we are going to be ranking diet sodas. First on the list, we have zero sugar Coke. Oh my God, I've been fiending. I've been fiending all day for this. Oh, you just love to hear that kind of sound, don't you? All right, here we go. Come on, man. I mean, that's just, oh, classic, classic, fun. Doesn't taste like aspartame at all. You put a blindfold on me, I would mistake this for regular Coke. Anyone who tells you otherwise is lying to you. Yeah. Regular zero sugar Coke, we're gonna have to put it in A. We're gonna have to put it in A for now because I gotta tell you what, there's still room for improvement. There's still room for improvement. What do we have next? Oh my God. Diet ginger ale. I've actually never had this before. Throw that ass in a circle. No! All right, diet ginger ale. Hmm. That's actually pretty good. I was a little, I was a little doubtful at first. I was, I really was. But that's actually pretty decent. Is it as good as zero sugar coke though? Nah, definitely not. Still good though. We're gonna put this as a beer tier, as a B tier for sure. Um, I like it, it's just um, it's just not as flavorful. It doesn't taste like uh, ginger ale. Honestly, you kind of have to just drink normal ginger ale. Diet A&W. That's the one, a and is the one with the, the dog, right? The bulldog? I think it is. Wait, what? All right, I'm a little confused, but oh wait. I have to get a different glass. Oh my God. This smells like something Walter White cooked up. This is what they fill your car up with when you go and get an oil change. Oh my god. This tastes like you went and you just cut something off the side of someone's shoes and then dissolved it in acid. S tier. Nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put it D tier. I'm sorry, A&W Bulldog, but um, just uh, wasn't doing it for me. Oh yeah, baby. Next on the list, the chosen one. It's beautiful. I love it. S tier. S tier. That's everything great about Coke with cherry flavoring on it. It's beautiful. So good. The cherry comes out so strong. This is by far the best. This is something you can enjoy every day at lunch, at dinner, at breakfast. Pretty soon I'm going to have an IV connected to me and it's just going to be injecting me with Coke zero sugar cherry. You know, aspartame gets a lot of hate. A lot of people say it's bad for you and it causes cancer and it's carcinogenic and it, it turns your blood into oil and it'll make your family disown you. But I gotta tell you what, I love all that stuff. I'm feeling so good right now. Oh, Sunkissed. Now I've seen a lot of hype about this one. I've seen a lot of hype about Sunkissed. Shit! It was leaking. Are you serious? Come on, man. I'm gonna kill someone. I'm going to- Oh yeah, man. I don't know if it's just this glass that's doing it for me or or what, but I'm feeling a little distinguished. <laughs> Buy it. Sell it, please. That is delightful. That's just got me feeling like, uh, this makes me feel good. I like it. I like the orange. I like, um, it makes me kind of think of a carrot. It makes me feel kind of like a child again. It makes me feel like I'm uh, flagging down the ice cream truck and getting one of those orange, um, uh, <laughs> one of those orange cream things. One of those orange cream, Shit. cream popsicles. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it's good. What am I doing? Sunkissed. Oh man, is it better than Coke Zero? S tier. Diet Coke. 
yeah, it's just, uh, it's just behind the times, man. It's just times have changed, times have evolved. Normal Diet Coke just doesn't cut it now. I mean, look at all these crazy concoctions we've got behind me. Diet Coke, equivalent to Canada Dry. B tier, it's good. I drink it, I drink it. Pepsi Zero. Mmm, that's not bad. Tell you what, we'll do a little experiment here. Coke Zero and we have Pepsi Zero. I need someone to help me. Let me, I'll be back, I'll be right back. Listen, I need you to do me a favor. <laughs> what I need you to do for me is, there's two sodas right here in front of me. Yeah. You see them. Yeah, I do. I need you to feed them to me okay. while I'm blindfolded. Right. You know what? I, I don't know why I explained that to you while he's blindfolded. I really didn't need to. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. It's coming to your mouth. Got it? Oh, yeah. You got it? That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. No, that's good. That's good. I like it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think that one was Coke Zero and I think the first one was Pepsi. And if that's the case, then Coke Zero has just been dethroned. Am I right? No, you're wrong. The first one was Coke Zero and the second one was Pepsi. Okay, I'm back, sorry about that. My camera died, but I'm back now. C tier, next, Dr. Pepper. So this is actually Mason Villeneuve's favorite drink. So shout out him. Let's see if he's bullshitting us or not. You mother- Mmm. Barbecue sauce. Kind of like if you took Coke Zero and you left it out in the sun for a few days, came back to it and just started drinking it down. Alright, Diet Dr. Pepper. I'm gonna put it B tier. I know. Sue me. Sue me. Ah, oh, Diet Pepsi. Okay. Yeah, I mean, kind of the same story as Coke. Times have changed, Diet Pepsi. There's new players in town. I actually think I like Diet Pepsi more. <clears throat> Diet Pepsi is better than Diet Coke. It's not a whole tier better. It's not as good as Coke Zero. Therefore, I'm gonna put it as better than Canada Dry, better than Diet Dr. Pepper, but not as good as normal Coke Zero. I can't do it anymore. Sprite Zero Sugar. Okay, I'm killing someone now. What the hell? That's freaking good, man. I love that. Sprite Zero Sugar, S tier. Mmm. Diet Mountain Dew. Maybe I should put one of these in there. <laughs> it's 10.30 in the morning. Oh, battery acid. I think I'm having heart palpitations. Oh, I feel my blood curdling. Yeah, I gotta put that at A tier. That's actually not that bad. So, yeah, unfortunately, the tier list has kind of hit a wall here. Um, I don't have any of these other shitty flavors. But what I do have is Pepsi Zero Sugar and Zero Sugar Dr. Pepper. So here, we, hear me out here. This might confuse you all, but we're gonna do it anyways. Pepsi Zero Sugar Cherry is gonna be the diet banquets. And Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar is gonna be this other Schweppes ginger ale. That's good, man. That's good, I love that. We're gonna put that as A tier. Strong A tier. Zero sugar Dr. Pepper. Yep. Really? This one's like hissing at me. Yo! This is actually fantastic. Zero sugar Dr. Pepper blows Diet Dr. Pepper out of the water, bro. And zero sugar Dr. Pepper goes to S tier, all the way past Sunkist, S tier, one below, uh, sugar-free cherry Coke. So, there we have it. There is our definite diet soda tier list. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you disagree. I've ruined my carpet and my pants making this video, so I'd appreciate it if you guys liked and uh, commented, subscribed, if you, if you want to. But anyways, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Feeling in my